Welcome back to That So Vegas. I'm your host, Christine McKellar, and I'm here with Tommy Wind. And just so your mom doesn't... Uh, we were joking about your mom and Elvis Presley oh, yeah. <laughs> before the break. We were talking about a lot of things. I hope you were tuning in. If not, we have a lot more to talk about. But the left and the right brain and how you've combined all these elements. And we were talking about working with your family. I love your grandpa already. I haven't met him. But I'd love to share a scotch with, with him yeah, someday. Well, oh, yeah. Tell him, tell him that uh, today. I will, I will tell him. So, Mom, back to... To, she, she does this little mom mind thing, and then you yeah. brought up Elvis, and I got all excited. Oh so. yeah, so, well, yeah. So, uh, so when I was a when I was a kid, uh, my mom actually used to be a Broadway dancer, and ah. she used to keep musical movies all over the house. She loved musicals, and the favorite ones that I always watched were the Elvis ones. So I used to watch the Elvis films, ones with the Elvis outfits and the whole thing. I said, Ma, I want an Elvis outfit. So she she surprised me one surprised me surprised. I liked me. it. Uh, <laughs> she surprised me one day for Halloween and had an Elvis outfit made for me. And ah. Like a full-blown Elvis outfit. And I, I I didn't just wear it for trick-or-treating. I wore it every single day. Uh, I was eight years old at the <laughs> That's time. That's so cute. And I started doing magic as Elvis. Oh. And yeah, it was, and it was, and I had a little fan club and I did the parades and I did, you know, I was a little local celebrity on Staten Island is where I'm originally from. Amazing. And, uh, and yes, yeah, so my mom took me around to all those events. So the reason why I guess I am so comfortable on stage is because I've been on stage ever since I was little. You know, and that's bespeaks a question that I, I, I just kind of popped into my head. Um, because of that, you never would have what's how bland, but a, a, the normal childhood with the baseball teams and the yeah. soccer teams you were probably too busy weren't you with the yeah. practicing and doing your well yeah um, matter of fact I'll, I'll actually uh, to elaborate on that point of it I actually um, the reason why uh, and pro this is the first talk show I'm, I'll, um, I've ever brought this up on before uh, I'm that's actually, so yeah, Vegas yeah so Thank I'm you. A, and a lot of people don't know this about me and I'm actually very uh, I, I embrace it. I'm a hemophiliac. I don't know if you know what a hemophiliac yeah, is. Yeah, I do know, but yeah. please tell the yeah, viewers. Yeah, sure. So, so what, what a hemophiliac is, is every single human being uh, who is not a hemophiliac, uh, or uh, there's some other diseases that is a blood disorder as well, too, but well, hemophilia, hemophilia is basically every human being has about, they used to think it was 16 clotting factors. I actually had right. this. It's actually 13 clotting factors um, because there's a few of them that are, are non-existent that the body doesn't need. But basically, the way it works is, and if this is a cool little bit of information if you didn't know this already uh, if you get hurt when you get hurt your body automatically goes into healing mode and each factor in your body and your bloodstream that your liver creates actually sets off each and every factor one after the other like a domino effect right so you go through these 13 stages of healing through each factor well a hemophiliac is actually missing one of those factors in the lineup of the dominoes so for example I'm missing factor eight very common one is eight and nine those are severe so um, Combined, they're severe or individually they're uh, severe? Individually, they're severe. Uh, oh, okay. You, there's very few people who are actually missing both. That's extremely severe. But uh, what what this actually is, is my factor eight is gone. So it's just my body does not produce factor eight. So as soon as I get hurt, hit my head, hit my elbow, hit my arm, my body starts going into healing mode, but then stops at seven because there's no eight to set off the rest of the dominoes. Ah. Yeah. And then, so then I receive my medication inter in intravenously and, uh, and my actual, my, my sit till I was, uh, about, uh, till I actually met Stacy, uh, my family mm -hmm. did it. Uh, it, uh, gave me the medication I gave myself the medication Stacy actually learned how to give me the medication because you know you if I get hurt, out yeah if I'm unconscious or something she and she she administers the medication to me now and uh, basically as a kid you know um, that was very that was very dangerous growing up I couldn't play football couldn't play baseball couldn't go out and play with the other kids like a normal person because if I got hurt and fell down scraped my knees it was a three-day hospital visit oh, wow. medication every day uh -huh. knees were blown up so uh, and a lot of people don't know that about you know, you know, may I say a couple of things sure, here? Sure. Uh, number one, um, have you ever been that injured? I mean, you've experienced then what does happen. Yes. Yeah. I have, yeah. And number two, and uh, you know, I love and respect and admire you yeah. anyway, just for all your accomplishments and your talent, but to me, that takes a lot of balls to do what you do because you're always being exposed when you're performing magic. I mean, even the 
a cut from a card mm -hmm. could be an issue, right? Yeah, well, yeah, it, and it does. And, you know, I mean, uh, you know, the, the slightest thing that the average person would think is just nothing could could potentially be life-threatening to me. So, but as long as I'm on a, a we call prophylactic, so I'm on uh -huh. medicine every other day, uh, and I get this, uh, the hemophilia medicine made by Baxter that actually replaces factor eight in my bloodstream. Wow. And uh, I receive that every other day, and it's got a half-life of about two days. So I have to receive Amazing. that every other day. Little, I know it turned into a whole medical thing, but basically, no, I, think I, it's just wanted, I wanted to throw that it. out there because it's that's that's a lot of people ask, well, why didn't you do this? Why? What? What really made? <laughs> but you, in view of that, yeah. look what you are doing. Yeah. Now, I mean, and I do talk straight. about well, you may as well just get on a tightrope. And yeah. Stuff. I, I, you know, well, <laughs> but I've been, your passion is is yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and, you're I've been very blessed. Uh, you know, there's a lot of hemophiliacs that haven't been as blessed as me. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, if I if there's one thing I want my show and my career to do is be an inspiration for other people with bleeding disorders, because it's not just hemophilia. There's a lot of different types of bleeding disorders mm -hmm. uh, that fall into the same realm where people right. don't heal correctly and um we all take our good health for so for granted yes i yeah. mean i was whining about the flu bug i had last weekend but you know it was I like, hey i take my my health for granted as well too but we work uh, on it and i mean i do try to exercise i eat well i take supplements i had my guest on last week with all these fabulous essential oils and have you ever looked into and we were going to get back to the subject but real quickly yeah, yeah. have you ever looked into like any uh holistic type natural it, it never would work no because of the missing yeah, gene because it's the missing Can't gene I, i've been actually told gene. i've been told by that by many uh, a lot of people uh that it's actually you know, oh, that maybe there's another way to heal it, unless you've actually lived with it. Now, mm -hmm. um, you know, so so that's ba so basically to, to answer your question, I never played baseball, football, any of those things. I don't because, blame you. Yeah, because you know I, that. But you, know. you didn't feel deprived, though. Your family no, sounds I, to me like they are so supportive. Your mom getting you the Elvis suit, your yeah. dad going, oh, my son has this ear, you know, and your yeah, grandfather yeah, yeah. and everything. And now they're here with you at the Tommy Wynn Theater, which is on Las Vegas Boulevard, and it's right across from New York, New York. You're yeah. by the Denny's right there. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's actually right next to We year. have to talk about that, too, in our next segment, oh, cool. about how the T-Mobile arena might be affecting stuff. But um, when you did create, and I find this fascinating, you came here with your family and performed. Uh, and then when the Broadway former Broadway theater came open, you guys made a family decision decision to buy uh, that venue, correct? Well, we didn't buy it; we lease it. Lease I can, it. I, but I, um, I, no, yeah, yeah, I could, I could actually, I could take you through the step by step what what happened to it. Um, and uh, basically, so this is this is what happened. I came to Vegas. Uh, we have two minutes. So. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll make it quick, and then I'll finish in the next segment. But okay. I came to Vegas 2009 and definitely living here. Uh, that was the same year that I won the World Magic Award. Yeah. Uh, but I had started started out here by doing corporate events at the Lamborghini showroom at the Palazzo. You made one disappear or something, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, I actually made Woo! one appear on Masters <laughs> of Illusion. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so basically, I started out doing corporate events there. We filmed the corporate event. The corporate event got submitted to World Magic Awards, uh, Gay Blackstone and ATI and Associates, and mm -hmm. uh, what happened was they actually picked me out of over 14,000, uh, I believe it was 14,000 magicians oh, uh, wow. that they told me at the time uh, to be the, the best team magician of the year, 2009. 19 so, years old, amazing. Yeah. Was, I mean, it was a great, I mean, and don't get me wrong, there was a lot of, a lot of hardships to get of just course. to that point of course uh, i was performing in atlantic city two years before grinding it out and then what happened was after that took place uh i got an east coast tour went on the east coast tour uh after the east coast tour was done i met a, a wonderful one some wonderful people who actually invested in my career to put me into the clarion hotel and casino oh, love love love, yeah. love love yes that's classic yeah, yeah. yeah. and that beautiful uh theater beautiful room uh -huh. and i went from there what happened was the owner of the uh Boulevard Theater at the time, gentleman, uh, came and uh, saw my show, and uh, he uh, he said we'd love to have you come over to the Boulevard Theater at the time. Went over there, performed there, um, and, uh, uh, and at that point I had met Stacy at that point in my mm -hmm. life, and, and uh, that the butterflies started flying around, and everything love became it. much more complete at that point when uh -huh. I met her, and uh, very excited about my career and everything, and, and I believe there was a, a business decision on uh, the theaters, and at that point to do something else, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. at that point, nothing, you know, I, I really don't know the details of it, right. but the theater became available, and I wasn't just going to shut my show down, so uh, as a family decision, we negotiated 
negotiated uh, with the landlords over there and, and uh, uh, decided to take the lease on, on the property. And look at it now because I know you've got so much going on there and you had a vision, I'm sure, as to how to present it because it's a great venue. Yeah. You it can is, do all kinds really of things yes. in there too. We'll talk about that in Great. our third yeah. segment. Absolutely. I'm going to give another quick shout out to the Red Roof Inn. Love my sponsor. They keep me on the air. Pet friendly, no resort and parking fees, and very convenient to the airport and the strip. Don't forget the Red Roof Inn on Paradise. And we'll be right back. Don't forget about us.